how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my blog. <laughs> so last time I said this is going to be about the Sen 4, which it is, and um, this is going to be the last part of this little mini series that I've been doing about my series. Um, so for those of you who don't like my mini series, that's I guess good news for you and for those of you who like my mini series don't worry I will do another one at some point um but you know this, this is all I have left to cover in terms of my series as they stand at this moment in time um from what I can remember <laughs> so uh the say simple um yeah <laughs> The Sayu Sen 4 was kind of written in a sort of interesting way. I started by writing the second book, thinking that it was going to just be a one-off book. Um, I then went back and wrote what is, timeline-wise, the first book in the series, <laughs> in terms of yeah, how things sort of timeline. However, the first and second book are written in a way where you could read either one of them first and still not necessarily feel like you're reading it in the wrong order. You could either see the first book in the series being a prequel to the second book um, and, re and read it sequentially second, or you could see the second book as being the sequel to the first book and read it in what is the chronological order um, and not really make too much of a difference. There's sort of a little bit of cross over with how things work, but other than that, um, yeah, you, you could read it in, in either order and it all still makes sense. Um, and then you get the third and the fourth book, and the third book, timeline-wise, occurs at the same time as the second book. Um, so again, second book and third book, you could read in any order, but for the third book to work, you need to have read the first book first. <laughs> but for the third book to make sense, you need to have read the first book first. So the, the third book is kind of a direct sequel to the first book. <laughs> this, is what, this is what I mean, it's sort of a more interesting series in, in terms of like its chronology. But the second book is happening at the same time as the third book. Um, you don't necessarily need to read the third book in order to understand what's going on in so you don't need to have read the second book in order to understand what's going on in the third book and you don't need to have read the third book in order to understand what's going on in the second book but you do need to have read the first book in order to understand what's going on in the third book um because those two stories do connect a little bit more closely uh, and then you have the fourth book in the series which only really makes sense if you've read the other three first so that is sequentially the last part of the series um and it sort of ties all the other three books together. So in order for that book to make sense, you do have to have read the other three books first. Yeah. <laughs> so like the other part of the series, you, you, you know, it, it, you'd have to be like one, three, or one, two, or two, one, and then three. <laughs> but book four has to be book four. It has to be the end of the series, just because of it flows off of everything else that has happened in the rest of the series. And, it's, it's basically the two, um, it, it's basically the sequel to both book two and book three. So in order for it to work, you need to have read at least those two books in order for the third book to make sense, you need to have read the first book and yeah. So in, in terms of writing the series, it's sort of, it was very interesting <laughs> because unlike most of my series, which I do have a definite chronology to them, this series, there is a timeline but you don't necessarily have to read in the strictest order of the timeline um, because books one, three, and four lead through each other, and books one, two, and three, uh, one, two, and four lead through each other, but books two and book three are kind of simultaneously happening, so you get this sort of split in the story. Um, and and then yeah, it's it's sort of yeah, <laughs> it it was it was a very interesting series to write, um, and as I said, it did, did just start off as the, the second book, and the idea that that was going to be the entire series. Um, 
and it, it is one that does focus on the Seiyusen, hence it being called the Seiyusen 4, as it's sort of loose. It's tighter right now, although the Seiyusen don't really appear in bird book. <laughs> so <laughs> they need a different title for the series, for the series to work. I mean, I, again, it's one of those I think I've sort of played with the idea of several different titles. I'm just not entirely sure what title I like right now. Um, so calling it the Seiyusen 4 is, is the easiest. So, um, the, the part of this is I kind of want to talk about the most is Welcome to Marybelle, which is the book that I wrote first, but chronologically is book two slash three, <laughs> depending on whether you read three or two in, in whichever room you decide to read three or two. Um, and yeah, it's because that was sort of like the, the origin of the series and sort of like the where the series is sort of spawned from. Um, I, I feel like the characters within that story are the ones that I do like the best. Um, which is unfair to say. It's not not that I don't like the characters that get focused on in book three. I do like the characters that get focused on in book three. I just feel like book two is a book that I was trying to write and everything else is kind of the brainchild of that story. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I think that, that's kind of how I, how I feel about it. Um, all four books in the series are first person um, and the first person narrator in, in, the, in the second book is probably the most clueless of all the narrators and book one get two first person narrators which is always an interesting thing to do um, but that kind of helps because it, it's both book because it's, it's the first point in the timeline and that timeline then splits into two before meeting back up again um, you kind of needed that that split narrator in in the first in the first book, um, and the series is very much about fighting demons. Um, I, I figure I should at least sort of mention what the series is about, and not just babble about splitting my timeline <laughs> and doing crazy things with the ordering of the books in this series. Um, but it, it it's it's kind of odd in the way that it, it presents its sort of heroes of the story and the fact that a lot of them aren't necessarily your typical good characters. Um, some of them are themselves demons, some of them are always good, um, and some of them have been reformed from good, some of them are good to begin with and then go through a period of being evil for one reason or another before coming back to being good again so um yeah it's it's sort of an interesting series in in those sorts of terms um because you get all of this graying of the characters and, and changing of character allegiances and and stuff like that so it was yeah it, it was a fun and interesting series to work on from from that point of view um and in terms of you know how the the sort of the plot kind of came about and, and kind of progressed. I know there's definitely a lot of work that needs to be done to sort of tidy it up, but essentially um, the, the YF fanfic series, this is the, the other fanfic series, the one that isn't available for you guys to find um, at the moment, um, the, the one that sort of has avatars of, of people that I used to know as characters within it. Um, Anyway, this is sort of spun off from that using mostly my original creations from, from that series. Um, and in sort of introducing them into this, this new sort of storyline, into this new sort of plotline, um, and sort of working off of, of that. And yeah, that it was kind of, kind of interesting and fun, and some of the revelations are quite fun if you've not read the, the YF series. Um, because you, you're not necessarily going to see them coming and that's kind of the point I've kind of written it with the idea in mind that most people are not going to have read the series that it's been spun off of so they're not going to know who these characters were the you know from from their origins and stuff like that so it was trying to sort of you know very much write it with with that in mind but also being able to nod and wink at anybody who had read that um a little bit as well so yeah yeah, it, it, it was interesting. It was very interesting. Um, and, and again, it's it's the thing that sort of does stick out with me with this particular series is the fact that it is a, uh, you can sort of read it in any order 
for the first three books thought of and then book four is book four and that that's the kind of thing that always sticks out the most of me with that series that and the title welcome to Marydale <laughs> but there, that that is like I, I don't know what it is about the, that particular title of, of that particular book but Welcome to Maryvale is one of my favourite titles that I've ever come up with. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe I'm a little sad, but I just I just love the way it sounds, I love the way it feels, it's one of those things where I'm kind of like, I could see that being the title of a TV show, which is some of the things and the ideas that kind of go through my head sometimes. Um, yeah, it, as I said, it's... It's a series I haven't worked on it for for a little while, so I do sort of know generally what happens in it, and kind of <laughs> kind of remember most of it. But it, it's for me what has always sort of stuck out was the idea of trying to write a series where you could read any book in any order, and it sort of makes sense. Although it's not one hundred percent strictly speaking, that's what it's ended up as. There there is sort of an order that is probably the most logical um but even then you know I could say yes yeah, start with book two welcome to Maryvale then go to book one and then go to book three and then go to book four or you could do book one then book two then book three then book four or you could do book one then book three then book two then book four um but you know it, it's yeah <laughs> yeah it, it's it's almost almost got that you could read it in any order but book four I don't think you could make book four make sense without having some idea of some of the things that went on in the previous book. So, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that there. Um, I'm not quite sure what else I do have to say about this particular series. I think I focused on the bit about the series that I find particularly interesting, uh, again, opposed to sort of talking strictly about the books themselves. And part of this is because it has been such a while since I have, you know, actually looked at the books although I have like a rough idea of what the books are about I don't know how to talk about them without like completely spoilerizing them um because all I really remember like the big plot details um <laughs> which isn't helpful <laughs> um but you know I, I I think I've talked about you know what the series represents to me which is sort of a, a different kind of challenge and a different kind of way of looking at story structure and, and series structure and yeah, that, I think I think that's kind of yeah. <laughs> okay, so next time we're going to be do moving away from this little mini series, um, and I'm going to apparently vlog about the problem with trying to get your work out there when you are an indie author. Um, and it's not so much the the publishing side of things as as, as you guys know. I am self published and do have a self publishing company that I do prefer using because they work really well for me um but in in terms of getting yourself noticed and getting yourself you know read essentially and you know the difficulties that I've encountered doing that and you know how I'm sort of looking and hoping to maybe get to where I want to be hopefully someday soon <laughs> All right, uh, with that, um, I will wrap this up. I hope you found this one sort of interesting. Um, I hope you're interested in what I have to say next time, and I will see you next time. See ya. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.